What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation. Be a part of the biggest and best daily baseball show on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Zach Lutello at 6Ks in 5 and 2 thirds innings, giving up no earned runs. His splitters were outstanding this game, getting 7 whiffs on 12 swings on his splitter for a 58% whiff rate. He outdueled Hyunjun Ryu, who had 2Ks in 4 and a third innings, giving up 5 runs, but did have these beautiful slow curveballs. Chris Flexen had 1K in 5 innings, giving up 2 runs, and he got his K on this fastball. He faced Marcus Stroman, who had two strikeouts in three innings, giving up three runs, and got his Ks on this two-seamer and four-seam fastball. J.P. France had five strikeouts in five innings, giving up two earned runs. He picked up Ks on this curveball, sweeper, and this cheese at the knees. He faced Jordan Lyles, who had a really good outing, with three strikeouts in five scoreless innings, giving up two hits, and picked up Ks on his cutter and sweeper. Jordan Montgomery had six strikeouts in seven innings, giving up no runs. He had these fastballs and these wicked curveballs. His curveball looked really good yesterday, and he outdueled Logan Gilbert, who had two Ks in five and two-thirds innings, giving up two runs, and picked up one of his Ks on this elevated slider. Jesus Lazardo had four strikeouts in five innings, giving up three runs. He had these filthy sliders and change-ups. And he battled Brandon Woodruff, who had six strikeouts in five innings, giving up four runs. Woodruff had this wicked two-seamer, as well as these change-ups. This one, the Jazz, looked a little inside, but don't take my word for it. Listen to Jazz. Wow. Jazz did not like that one. Jose Quintana had 10 strikeouts in six innings, giving up five earned runs. He picked up Ks on his fastballs and nasty changeups. He faced Zach Wheeler, who had six strikeouts in seven innings, giving up three earned runs, and got his Ks mostly on heaters. Nick Martinez had three strikeouts in four innings, giving up two hits and no runs. And he had these dirty curveballs. I thought his curveball looked really good. And I don't know if it's a camera angle or something, but Jordan Walker looks like he's 10 feet tall. Connor Phillips looked really good yesterday with nine strikeouts in five innings, giving up three runs. He's only 22 years old and looks like he has a big future ahead of him. He had these upper 90s heaters, these nasty sweepers. I like this stuff so much I'm thinking of becoming a con head. John Means was outstanding yesterday with four strikeouts in seven and a third innings, giving up only one hit, and that hit was a home run in the seventh inning. Yep, he took a no-hitter into the seventh and picked up Ks on his fastball and these change-ups. He faced Cal Quantrill, who had four Ks in four innings, giving up only one run, and got Ks on his fastball, cutter, and splitter. Kenny Rosenberg had five strikeouts and five scoreless innings, and had this nasty changeup and cutter for a sword. And Rosenberg was impressed that he got his first pitching ninja sword. During the game, I noticed that Kenny Rosenberg looks a little bit like he could be Garrett Cole's younger brother. Rosenberg dueled Sonny Gray, who had eight Ks in six innings, giving up one run on four hits. Gray picked up Ks on his fastballs, curveballs, and sweepers. And here's an overlay of Sonny Gray's fastball and sweeper, and you can see how his tunneling really messes up a hitter. He's just so good at that. Gray's ERA this season is now 2.8, and he's third in the major leagues in ERA. Clayton Kershaw had a solid outing yesterday with five strikeouts and five innings, giving up only two hits and no runs. He had these wicked sliders and, of course, his Cooperstown curveball. So pretty. Joe Boyle had five strikeouts and six innings, giving up no earned runs and only one walk, which is big because he was kind of a walk machine in the minor leagues, averaging seven walks a game, but a ton of strikeouts too. And with this stuff, you can see why he racked up a ton of strikeouts in the minors. If he can keep limiting his walks, he is going to be really good. Nick Pavetta had seven strikeouts and seven scoreless innings and had these fastballs, sweepers, sliders, and curveballs. And I love this sweeper where he gets absolutely fired up and Kay struts off the field. Fired up Nick Pavetta is one of my favorites. And he battled yesterday's filthiest starting pitcher of the day, Dylan Cease. Dylan Cease was outstanding with 11 strikeouts and 7 scoreless innings. He picked up 23 whiffs yesterday. 14 of them on his fastball and 7 out of 16 swings on his slider. Again, looking like the Dylan Cease who contended for the Cy Young Award last year. And here's an overlay of his fastball and slider. And you can see how long those pitches stay on the same tunnel. And why as a hitter, that is a tough combination. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Matt Brash had this elevated two-seamer. Taylor Clark had this dirty slider. Chris Davinsky had these filthy change-ups. Michael Kelly had these sweepers and fastball. Carlos Estevez had this elevated slider and fastball. 
Josh Hader had these heaters. Javier Assad had this cutter and this beautifully painted two-seamer. Look at that. Jose Soriano had this hammer curveball. Joe Kelly had this wicked slider, this crazy 100-mile-an-hour two-seamer, as well as this nasty changeup. Justin Lawrence had this sweeper that broke 20 inches. That is a frisbee. Julian Merriweather had these sliders and got a sword. Drake May had this beautiful lefty pass. Okay, this is college football, but I'm a Tar Heel. And I thought it was impressive, and so did the fans that were sitting in the end zone. Jimmy the Human Glitch Herget had these filthy breaking balls. Dowie Moretta had these sick wrong way sliders and picked up a White Castle special with them. And here's an isolated look at that wrong way slider so you can see the release and the spin axis. My favorite moment of the game is when Dowry Moretta went out to the mound and nobody else on his team was out there. I've heard of ghost runners, but a full team of ghost players? That's ridiculous. Moretta kind of looked like confused John Travolta from Pulp Fiction. So I matched up their mechanics and virtually identical. I actually think he should have just played it off like Mariano Rivera in his last All-Star game and started doffing his cap and stuff. For those who are really wondering what happened, the Reds had challenged a play and he was just left standing out there during the replay. And my filthiest reliever of the day yesterday was Brian Abreu for these fastballs up to 100 miles an hour and this wicked slider. And now my pitching ninja moment of zen. This dude really gets into making Bloody Marys. I mean really gets into it. And suddenly I can't wait to go to the 2024 All-Star Game in Texas. What is up everybody? My picks of the day today are a three-leg parlay. I'm going to start out with Christopher Sanchez for 5Ks or more, then take Yusei Kikuchi for 6Ks or more, and top it off with Edward Cabrera for 6Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? 